Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's session, we are going to do an experiment. Like we are going to um, interface an actuator, which is a servo motor, to the Arduino, and we are going to install or uh, uh, dump a predefined program in order to sweep or move the servo motor. Okay. So this is this experiment is with respect to the integration of sensors and actuators with Arduino, which belongs to the unit two. So let's again, once again, brush up. What are these uh, actually servo motor? So a servo motor is a type of a motor that can rotate with great precision. Okay. So these simple motors can directly work with five volt supply. Even if you directly connect it to the Arduino five volts, it works clearly. Okay. And they also make an angles like 90 degrees or 180 degrees. If you see the color coding of the uh, wire connections with respect to the servo motor, this servo motor will be having three wires. Okay, the first one is the brown, the middle one is the red, and the last one is the orange one. Okay, so the brown wire is considered to be the ground, uh, brown wire is considered to be the ground, and the red wire is considered to be the VCC, uh, where we can give supply using red and brown. And the last one where the orange one goes with the signal pin. Okay. So in order to move that particular servo motor, which is acting as an actuator, we should give a uh, red wire and brown wire to the positive and negative terminals of the Arduino, as well as orange wire to the signal pin, which can be considered as one of the digital pin. Okay. Now, if you see the circuit diagram over here, it's a simple connection. So the brown wire of servo motor goes to the ground of Arduino. The red wire of servo motor goes to the five volts of the Arduino. And the orange wire, as I've already said, it is a signal pin. It goes to the ninth pin, PWM pin. We can also call it as digital or PWM pin. Okay. So this is a simple uh, circuit diagram. Now let's do connections according to the circuit diagram. So we have done the whole setup as per the circuit diagram. As we have already seen, the servo motor will be having three wires, brown wire, red wire, as well as orange wire. The brown wire, which is the first one, uh, goes to the uh, ground of the Arduino, okay? And the middle one, red wire, goes to the five volts positive of the, or five volts terminal of the Arduino, okay? Where we are giving supply for the servo. And the signal pin, the last one, the orange wire goes to the ninth pin now in order to upload the program into the Arduino, first we need to go to files from files you need to go to examples okay so in the examples at the bottom you will find servo okay so this is the server we have in the server we have two uh, examples one is knob and another one is sweep okay so in order to have a better output and uh, check the server you can consider this sweep okay so once you click on this sweep, you will be getting a file like this. It's a predefined program, which is already written. I have not done any kind of changes. So this will be having say server header files, okay? And some functions, okay? And some positions, position is equal to zero. And my server dot attached, the server signal pin has been attached to the ninth pin of the Arduino, okay? So with respect to the positions, it will be keep on changing its position from 0 degrees to 180 degrees, again from 180 degrees to 0 degrees. So with a delay of some um, some milliseconds, okay? So it waits for 15 milliseconds to uh, reach the position. After that, it again goes back to the own position. So we can see as an output, as an actuator of server, we can see the server moving from 0 degrees to 180 degrees again from 180 degrees to 0 degrees, okay? Now let's uh, compile the code and also upload, upload the code. Now the code has been compiled. Now let's connect the Arduino board. Let's upload the code. 
six. Okay, done uploading. Before uploading the code, make sure that you have properly connected the Arduino. So uh, what we need to do in order to check the Arduino, you need to go to tools. You need to select the Arduino Uno board as well as your COM port. Okay, you already know, right? Okay, same process. Okay, so once the board is selected, you can compile and upload the code into the board. Okay, now let's see the output, how it goes.